You know, we are just days away from the great American solar eclipse and people are trying to get their hands on the protective glasses that they need so they can enjoy it in person. I think April has the only pair I've seen for miles around. She's not sharing either. Uh, no, she's not. If you're not protected, you can really damage your eyes. That's the one thing you got to remember. Lena is in Chandler with Dr. Sky. Good morning. Good morning. I have a correction to that intro there. I also have a pair of NASA <laughs> approved goggles nice. here. Absolutely. So, yes. So Stephen Cates, AKA Dr. Sky, a lot of controversy. A lot of people are trying to capitalize and, and giving us the wrong stuff. So how do we know we've got the right safety goggles? Lena, thanks for asking. You know, folks, it's so amazing. There's a controversy that seems like it's endless. It never ends. My suggestion is simply go to the NASA website. These are ISO certified glasses. What's ISO? It's a set of standards. NASA, of course, has a standard of 14 and a Of course. This is important because so many people who've purchased glasses, now I'm not saying what names of No, bad but we don't know that they're all right Absolutely. or and we don't want to find out by damaging our that. eyes. So the ones I'm holding here, they're ISO certified, but how do you know what you're getting? Right. Go to the NASA website look at the approved vendors, and it may even be late later for people to even purchase these That's the at this thing. point in so time. That's the thing, so many people are Absolutely. after these glasses, they were just saying, oh Absolutely. gosh, you know, there's few and far it's between. very difficult to get them. So here's point. a way that you can watch the eclipse, get this, yes. with your back to the sun by digging around your pantry, and you probably have this in there already. This is a Dr. Sky special and exclusive right here. If you have a sheet of paper and you take the sun, and you then the magically sun. move it into the sun. There we go. You can see the little holes that are Isn't in the saltine cool? cracker. Now, what does that have to do with eclipses? Right around 1033 in the morning. Right, I'll be the sun. My there's Lena's the sun. finger covering it up. Yep. But what you're going to see, folks, is little crescent shaped images of the sun. So here's a Dr. Sky special. Now, there are 13 holes in a normal saltine. If you have a Ritz cracker, we said seven. seven. And if you have maybe a little lower budget, you Lena get the has one the hole, cheese it. Cheese the one it hole, cheese it. But it still hole. works, y'all. It still works. But so, folks, it's really good. Very, but that way, good. you're not even facing the sun, so you know for Absolutely. sure your eyes are protected. Right. And it's. A, I think that would be a fun way, too, to get the kids involved in you're doing right. something kind of fun and unique. And you can eat it afterwards, and there goes the evidence from your eclipse, and it's done totally safe. So that's if we important. don't know if the glasses are NASA right. certified, if we couldn't get our hands on any of those. But let's talk about some of the other things Absolutely. people are using. Some people are like, oh, I've got to get this on my phone so I can Instagram it. Big mistake. Be very careful. Your regular iPhone or Android phone has no solar protection. And what are you doing? You're holding it up to the sun. That in the screen, I'm not saying it's going to damage your phone. It'll probably damage your eye. So that's not a good idea. And you've got these but yellow caps here on, on the, the table, this is very interesting. A little more advanced observer would have a little telescope like this. Mead Instruments made this one for the sun. The yellow is the filter. You must have, folks, if you're using a telescope, it's not here where you want the filter. It's in front. So let's talk about if you don't have it. You said that you have an oh, interesting demonstration. If you had a piece of paper here and no filter. Don't do this. If I took this filter off this particular telescope, aimed it at the sun, you know the magnification like a magnifying yes. glass. This piece of paper would literally go in flames in seconds. So don't try that at no. home. And then we have a pair of binoculars, a similar kind of concept, in which you would hold these up only with these yellow solar filters on here. And you can see the impending warnings on these interesting red tags. So the point of the matter is, protecting your eyes, it's utmost important. And the truth of the matter is, yeah. so many people, Lena, really are thinking about this, and there's so much bad information out there. Right, well, you don't wanna, right. it's not gonna be fun anymore if no. you end up hurting yourself. So Absolutely. again, don't do NASA that. website is gonna give you where you mm -hmm. can find the approved glasses. If you can't get your hands on them, no big deal. You have right. the answer in your pantry, you turn your back to the sun, and you get to see it uh, 13 times with 13 the saltine cracker. You now, coming group. up in a half an hour, we are gonna take a look at more eclipse information since we have Absolutely. the doctor here. You know, there's uh, a lot to be learned by the point heads when this happens so we're going to find <laughs> out full of info. but we're going to find out all the information there is in the sky I love it, Lena. That was really interesting with that cracker. The only thing we have left to figure out is where we can get a shirt just like his for you <laughs> we, for the big day. I know. We need an Eclipse shirt. There you go. We've got uh, to. We've got to find you that.